um, a two week project where we all came together every day and we worked on different parts, like different careers that were going to a photo shoot, so like styling, modeling, so photography and set design. When we had, had like a little taster of everything, we went off doing what we wanted to do. Towards the end then we it all built up into one big photo shoot. We didn't really know what to expect going to see the exhibition. Because we thought that it would just be like a little mess about to just take some pictures but then one thing led to another. We've been in vogue in the Guardian and it's just crazy. Doing these photo shoots, I, we've all gained confidence. Before I personally started doing stuff like this, I would struggle to get three words out with a stranger, but now I'll have a full-on conversation with them. I'm really delighted to be here at the Community House in Bryn Farm in Bryn Mawr. Uh, it's clearly a very well-used establishment, and I'm delighted to have been able to provide some financial support. I chatted with the young people who uh, hosting the events, and, uh, organizing the fashion show and preparing their own costumes and really keen to hear about what they've learned. Uh, and I hope that this house will go from strength to strength because young people need this sort of activity and support and I'm delighted to be able to play a role in that. They've come from just playing youth club on the streets to being in vogue. Um, they really proud of themselves now, I think it's sinking in now. The certain rules are set in the youth club and they adhere to these rules which, you know, I think behaviourally previously they would find it difficult but now they are actually sort of listening, joining in, their confidence has grown and these are skills that they can actually take to the outside world as well. I think they've grown up as well and their parents are really proud of them, they've been down there this afternoon. I'm really proud of the girls in their pictures, obviously get into the Vogue magazine, what a massive achievement. We're glad that they, they're off the streets and they, they are doing something in the community. It proves that all the work you put in, you get a nice surprise or something at the end of it. We would like to say thank you to Rotary and our youth workers and to also Clementine and Charlotte for doing this project with us and also to the people that have helped us with funding because without them we wouldn't have been able to fund it. We could get bigger and like, do more. Yeah, I think we, like, hopefully we could get more like funding to do more things with these clubs and all.